How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? <gasps> a reunion a year in the making. Just yesterday, Abby Collins was able to reunite her baby, Hosanna, with the nurse who cared for her while in the NICU as Christus Children's. A year later, Hosanna has reached a milestone no one expected her to reach. Ken Spives, Meredith Haas, was there for the heartfelt reunion. She joins me in studio with more on this inspiring story and what's to come of it, Meredith. Yeah, Abby Collins never thought having a happy and healthy baby would be a reality. Now she and her family want to give back to the NICU unit at Christus Children's that saved her daughter's life. The first thing that came to me is like, is she going to survive? The second Hosanna Collins was brought into this world. She was fighting for her life. Seeing a three pound baby, she fit in my hands. Like she was so tiny, she fit in both of my hands. Her mother Abby gave birth two months premature on August 11th, 2023. It was her and her husband Victor's fourth girl. We want to be the one to protect her, and feed her. When she's early, you can't. I blame it to myself, and I think that that's something that NICU parents go through, uh, us as mothers. We blame ourselves for our body not being able to keep our babies healthy. For the 39 days Hosanna should have been in her mother's womb, she was instead in an incubator. The mask and the CPAP and her eyes were covered. Still recovering from a C-section, not knowing if her baby would survive. This was three days. She was three days old and I finally got to see her face and it was just amazing. Abby had community, faith and trust in the nurses Hi, at Christus Children's. You're such a big girl. Reuniting a year later in the same place Jennifer Martinez cared for not only Hosanna but Abby every day. I saw her crying. That's hard for me to see so just being showing them compassion, I think, uh, it helps them. Now Abby has a plan to give back. When she was in the NICU, reading was a big thing for us. I would just sit in the chair, hold her, and read her book. She set up a wish list on Amazon for anyone to buy books for families in the NICU. So I just want to give back to the hospital that did so much for us. And you made an impact on my life as well, Aww. so thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you are so sweet. Now go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen to get to the Amazon page where you can purchase a book for the hospital. Now Abby plans to deliver these books with her family the day after her daughter's first birthday, which will be August 12th. You can also find the QR code at kens5.com.